loads of pictures of you, Charlie. Mate. Them. You what? London is thin enough to look our best for the world. Now we all know the problems with the London underground. My colleagues and I know them up close and personal. For the past 12 years, I have worked on the underground and have been campaigning with the RMT to end the exploitation of London cleaners, many of whom are migrants. Today, during the opening ceremony, we will celebrate many of the great things about London and the United Kingdom. But as the world watches, our best athletes, the realities of my life and my fellow cleaners cannot be ignored. In many ways, the cleaners of the London underground are the hidden slaves of England. Inequality and exploitation are rampant within the transport for London and cleaning subcontractors. Managers are sacking people for organizing in unions, for being migrants, and for demanding higher pay. I believe there is dignity in labor, in working hard, and we are proud to do the work that must be done. We have explained our full list of demands to transport for London. Three issues that are re representative of the inequality we face are one, no Olympic bonus. Cleaners were cut out of Olympic bonuses while tube drivers, maintainers are control staff, bus drivers, and bike hire workers all receive bonuses of up to 850. While maintenance staff will not be doing any maintenance except emergency work, and tube drivers are mining their usual post, cleaners will be dealing with the rubbish of almost a million more travelers each day. If anyone deserves the bonus, it is all. Number two, no sick pay. Cleaners do not receive sick pay. Again, while other workers on the underground are entitled to sick pay, we are left empty handed. Why don't we deserve sick pay? We fall in like everyone else. And our families rely on our ability to work and provide for them. No one should be forced to put their head at risk because our employers will pay for sick pay. Number three, no travel cards. Cleaners may travel, <coughs> must pay travel, sometimes big fare, while other workers on the London Underground travel for free. The inequality here is clear. Why are we being paid to pay required travel for our job while others are compensated for it? In order for us to do our job well, and on the already low wages we are paid, we deserve to have free travel like everyone else who works on the London Underground. We will continue to organize the cleaners in order to fight back on this and other issues. I only wish that as the Olympics plug forward this month, it is not only us who want to clean up this ugly industry. Thank you.